exit this full screen here so we could get into my share screen. All right. Share the screen, baby. Hope everything is going well. Hey, yo, the streets don't love you. The block don't either. Police put a price on your head and it's getting cheaper. Youngins in the hood trying to get rich off the reefer. Peace, peace, peace. This is your humble <laughs> sales villain, Tiger Toledo. I am here with my son, Noah. And you already know what it is, man. You rock with the best. You heard? Say something, Noah. Yeah, yeah, no. Well, here's the thing, ladies and gentlemen. I am doing the 100 for 100. What that is, is 100 for 100. I am gonna be doing 100 videos for the next 100 days. That is a challenge that I am giving myself. I'm trying to break out of my comfort zone, bring value to the world with the knowledge that i have so peace and love to happiness with all you guys out there what's up keisha what's up naomi chanel peace and love to you guys so i had a person ask me how can she choose the right business to start and i'll make this video very quick for you guys because i know you guys want to get back to what you got going on three ways to choose the right business to get into one, you want to go on what is called Google Trends. Go on Google Trends. And what you're looking for is type in the business that you want to get into. Let's just say, you know, transportation, right? What you're looking for is you want to make sure that that business is growing at least 10% every year. So you want to make sure that, hey, this market that I'm about to get into is actually growing, not declining, if that makes sense. The second thing that you want to do is, uh, let's see, let's see. You want to make, you want to see if you want to be more of a business owner, or you want to be working in your business. Again, let's take the example as a transportation. Do you want to be the truck driver, or do you want to own a fleet? These are things that you want to tackle on early on in your decision process. One, you want to go on Google Trends and make sure that that market is growing 10% every single year, at least minimum 10%. And second, you want to see if you're going to be more of the sole proprietor that's working in the business, or you're going to be the business owner that's working on the business. And last but not least, you want to make sure that the market that you're going into has how, how can I say the customers are biting like piranhas you want to make sure that the customers are biting like you don't want to really go into a lukewarm market where competition is very very high you want to go into a market where the customers are like you know they they're 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 scratching their arms and their necks like Ray Charles on heroin you know what I mean you, you want to be like, let's just say somebody like Tony Robbins, or I'm just using it as, as an example. Tony Robbins, they can't get enough motivation. They need motivation every goddamn day. That's why you're seeing so many motivational speakers pop up nowadays, because the public is so thirsty and so hungry to keep themselves positive and optimistic that there's a huge market for motivational speakers. So you want to make sure that the market that you're jumping into has a audience of ravenous piranha like thirst for whatever product that you're going to get. Okay. So I hope that helps out. Ladies and gentlemen, peace, love, and happiness. Remember, this is my 100 for 100. I will be conducting 100 videos in the next hundred days. Um, also, last tidbit, uh, my company is expanding. We're looking for traveling notaries in Texas. Uh, we're also looking for traveling notaries in Florida and South Carolina. So if you're in those areas, hit me up. I'm gonna link, leave the link in the comment section below. Holla at your boy, peace.